Okay, this is problem five on transferred in costs. Um, this is Trendy Clothing. It's a manufacturer of winter clothes. They've got a knitting and a finishing department. So the exercise focuses on the finishing department. Okay, so if the finishing department, they're probably not adding a lot of material, right? Um, direct materials are added at the end of the process. I don't know, maybe they're buttons. Who knows what they are? Or maybe it's just um, uh, plastic bags or something like that. Conversion costs are added evenly during the process. Trendy uses the weighted average method of process costing and the following information for June. Now what, now what you want to picture is this has um, a knitting, the knitting department finished and transferred in costs. Okay, it transferred in 100 units. So they started out with tons. These are 60 tons of beginning inventory. Okay, they had Transferred in cost of 60000 direct materials of zero. Because all the direct materials, I think, are in this transferred in cost from the other department, okay? And one of the reasons that companies do this is because they keep it by department so that you can actually look at the efficiency in the process that happened within each department. So if you've got a, pro a department that has problems, then you can identify it. Okay, if everybody's numbers are all smushed together, then you can't tell. So we've got conversion costs then of 24000 And the transferred in costs are always 100% complete. Okay, so it's 100% complete. Um, direct <coughs> materials, there, there's nothing there. And then conversion costs are 50% complete in beginning work and process. So they completed and they transferred in 100 units, completed and transferred out 120, and ending work in process is um, 40 tons, 40 units, and that's 100% complete for transferred in costs, 0% for material, and 75% for conversion. <clears throat> Don't forget they add the material at the end of the process. I'm not sure what the material would be, but they add it at the end, and we're at 75% through, so there wouldn't be any right now. So we've got to do all this and, um, you know, do an analysis of this. So let's take a look. <clears throat> so this is practice problem five, transferring costs. My beginning working process was 60. I transferred in 100 units, so we've got to account for 160 units. So what we know is that 120 were completed and transferred and 40 are an ending work in process. So that's 160 units, so we figured out where they went. Now the um, transferred in, 120 units were completed and transferred, so that would be 100% complete for transferred in costs, for units anyway. Uh, equivalent units, 120 for direct material and 120 for conversion. Now ending work in process is 100% complete for um, transferred in, so that's 40 units times 100%, 0% for material, and 75% for conversion, so 75% of 40 is 30. So here are my equivalent units for transferred in costs, direct materials, and conversion. Okay, so let's look at these costs then. Um, beginning work in process is 60,000, that's what we added. Um, no, nothing for material and 24,000 for conversion. And the costs added this period were 117,000, 27,000, and 62,400. Okay, those are the costs added. That was all given. So there's my total cost for each, you know, equivalent unit category divided by my, my weighted average equivalent units gives me my cost per equivalent unit. Okay. Here's my total unit cost, 1907.25. And there's the total amount of cash that I've got in the system here, 290,400. Okay, so this is what I've got to tie out to when I assign my costs. And we're ready for it. So completed and transferred was 120 units. Yeah, 120 units times 1907.25 per unit. That's the full unit cost gives me 228,870 for completed and transferred costs. Now ending work in process, if we, if we've got three categories here. Transferred in has 40 equivalent units. Don't forget we're looking at this line up here 
just the equivalent unit line of any work in process. So 40 times 1106.25, 44,250. And 30, we don't have any direct material, so there's no cost to assign to it yet. And for conversion cost, it's 30 times 576, or 17,280. So here's my total um, any work in process cost. And you want to have a total for these two because that's a separate journal entry. Okay, this goes to the next department. Um, so 228,870 plus the, plus the 61 is 290,400, and that's exactly what was put into the system, so we're in good shape. Okay.